don't believe pressure necrosis exists in dental implants. And uh, I've got, I think I'm up to 53 reasons why it doesn't exist. Let's say I have a case and let's just for the sake of the argument, we say pressure necrosis exists. So I put an implant in with high torque and it results in implant failing. How does that failure represent itself? What, what does it look like? And how does that differ from somebody who's on, um, who has uh, a vitamin D deficiency or a smoker or a diabetic or any other systemic illness? So what, what would that failure look like in terms of, would the radiographs look different uh, during the failure? Would the failure happen in the first week, the second week? first month, second month, second year, when, when does the failure occur? What does that failure look like? And the answer is none of that's been vetted, right? In fact, there is no definition of pressure necrosis. It's, it's um, more of a colloquial term.